Yo, what's going on, True Fan? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're going to be going over the brand spanking new OBS Update 23. So let's go ahead and check out all the new features. All right, so like I said, guys, we're going to be going over all of the brand spanking new features of OBS Update 23. It literally just landed, and I kind of want to introduce you guys to all of the fun new stuff. This update literally makes OBS an all-in-one software suite, and you really don't have to go over to like Streamlabs OBS or even Stream Elements OBS Live. OBS has taken the time to really integrate some key features that I think is going to make it a even more standout software. So let's go ahead and check out a few of the things that they've added. OBS has added a few new features to the software that makes it feel a little bit more complete and makes it really compete with that of Streamlabs OBS and OBS.live from Stream Elements. And right now, as it sits, it doesn't look like anything has changed whatsoever, but there are a lot of underlying features that you wouldn't know about at first glance that they have added. So if you go up here into their tools settings here, you can see that they've actually added deck link output captions, which is experimental. Uh, you've got output timers. I don't know if that was ever there, but that that's new, at least to me. But the thing that I really want to focus on here is the new auto configuration wizard. So if you go through, you can, of course, this is nothing different about these first two screens here. Oh, but wait a second. I can connect it to Twitch. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and put my username and password in. So I can go ahead and connect it to Twitch here and it's going to optimize everything for me so it's going to estimate my bit rate and all of that fun stuff let's click next now the cool thing that you're going to see pop up here in just a second is going to be extremely awesome one that i am truly excited about because i have been really wanting to switch back to obs for quite some time now so what you're about to see is like a test and everything happened this is the normal suite of auto configuration stuff happening but there are going to be two brand new modules that they have added to the software that have never been here before. So let's go ahead and check those out when they pop up here. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we have two very, very new modules that you can kind of resize into OBS. So these are directly integrated with Twitch. These are not available on Mixer quite yet. I do not believe I haven't seen anything on it, but this is stream information so you can enhance your or you can access your dashboard all of your tags everything like that right here boom you got your chat it's an all-in-one software now baby it's it's awesome i'm so excited for this update because of these two features alone now there are tons of other underlying optimizations that they have done to the software and you can access those through the settings menu so in settings if you go to your output tab you are now going to see if we go to advanced you are now going to see NVENC H264 new. And what that is, is they have finally implemented the new RTX encoder. If you want to watch the RTX encoder video that I have on the channel, I actually have a, I'll put through a link in the description below. And before you watch that video, do be forewarned, I am running the beta software. I'm going to redo that video after I finish testing all of the new NVENC options because this is actually a better release version. But you do have access to the new NVIDIA encoder if you have a brand new RTX card or Turing GPU that can take, take control of the new uh, architecture. So you can actually use that one. I still prefer X264, so we're going to stick with it. 4500, 4500, boom. It's all, it, a lot of it's still the same, but the fact that I can now have my NVENC encoder for RTX is pretty awesome so that's a really great new feature that i am super excited for now the next big update comes in the way of your view so it has you have a couple new docs that have been added and the big one in my opinion is the stats page now what the stats page does it gives you a little bit more in-depth look at your cpu usage the fps average frame time to render your frames missed due to rendering it gives you all sorts of fun stuff. So skip frames due to encoding lag, tons of new options here that help you kind of fine tune and keep track. So if there's something going on over here, you can actually hop over to your settings page now and tune them and make this all look a little bit nicer. It gives you your HDD space, memory usage available, or your memory usage total, I should say. It's a really 
cool, well thought out modules like this that I am has me even more excited to use OBS than its competing software. It's quality of life improvements is what they call it in the gaming industry and that it translates to this software. Now, there are some new sound filters that you can input uh, into your audio input captures or audio output captures as well. So if you go into your filters on any input or output capture, you can see that you now have expander, limiter, or input polarity. Now, I don't actually have a microphone or anything plugged into my gaming PC, which is what we are testing the new OBS and stuff off of. But as you can see, there are a couple different things that you can kind of play around with and fine tune your audio even more, which is always nice to have. And it makes using plugins kind of a thing of the past now, so now that we have all of these new things inputted here. These are just nice quality of life improvements yet again, but it's always nice to see things like expanders and limiters being able to be utilized through the software and not having to have an external VST plugin anymore. Now, OBS also did do a little bit of editing to their inputs here. So when you're editing a scene and you select something like say display capture, for instance, you see a giant red box around it before it was a little bit harder to distinguish between the different sources and when editing your sources and stuff. Now they've made it easier. And um, once you select it, you can actually edit everything down here as well. So they've done some Yet again, quality of life improvements that make using OBS and using the entire software a little bit easier and nicer and just overall more complete than it ever has been in my opinion. Now, there are some other notable differences to the new OBS um, update 23 that I'm not really gonna, I really can't show you, but that's stuff that we can go over. So for all of you users out there that like to use OBS on Linux, you now have support for VA API meaning you can take control of Intel QuickSync and AMD OpenGL encoding via OBS in place of X264. Now, OBS also has support for FFmpeg for recording and things of that sort. And you can now use multiple audio tracks when recording at FFmpeg, which is also pretty awesome and makes it for splitting up all of those audio tracks a little bit better when you outsource that back out to your editing software. Just makes it easier for editing in the long run. Something that's going to be super, super helpful for people like YouTubers, like myself, and a lot of other people that like to record their streams. So take advantage of that if you like to separate the audio tracks for easier editing when you take it to your editing software after you're finished recording or streaming. So there you have it, guys. That is the brand new update for OBS. That's update 23 and one that I think brings probably the most quality of life improvements over the entirety of OBS's lifespan. This is going to be a huge update for Twitch streamers and YouTubers alike because there are so many new features that are mega useful. And now OBS is able to integrate with Mixer, YouTube, Restream, Facebook Live, things of that sort. You're able to sign in through the auto optimizer and it optimizes it for the streaming service of your choosing. It also grabs your stream key for you so you don't really have to grab it yourself. And it just, it's just a more complete software in my opinion. And one that I think, every, like I said, you need to learn OBS because things like this make it just beautiful. This is update 23. I wanted to do a little bit of an overview. Hopefully you guys like the new update as much as I do and go and check it out for yourself. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button and then be sure to hit the subscribe button before you guys leave today. I would super appreciate it. If you wanna follow myself or True Gaming on any of our social medias, be sure to check those links in the description below. And I am also streaming Monday through Friday, so be sure to come hang out with me on stream. I am streaming at nights right now, starting right around 9.30. So be sure to come hang out with me and chat. We've got some awesome stuff happening on stream. But guys, that about does it for this video. So I will definitely catch you in the next one. we got plenty more content like this coming to the channel. So I'll see you in the next one. My shadow out.